Hello everyone, Kid Kara here. We're gonna do a quick tournament, and it's gonna start with Fonta Gamer and Real Victor. No hand gesture, man. No one... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Fonta Gamer won the dice roll, but he's giving it to to Victor, so he's going first. <laughs> First things first, I'll normal summon Witchcraft or Pittori. Uh I'll activate her ability, tribute, discard a spell card from my hand, a special summon a Witchcrafter from my deck. I ghost the Witchcrafter. <laughs> okay, I still get the effect. What? It tributes for cops. <laughs> what are you ghost the Witchcrafter? <laughs> to get called by the judge. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Uh, for, for reference, these are all going to be relatively off meta decks. The point of it was like decks that haven't been in the meta five years. So give us well, the brand new. <laughs> that was hard to do. So some of these aren't all that old. And whatever, who cares? The point is we're trying to be off meta. We don't play these decks. We have them because we love them. So don't don't, don't get too wary if you take too long reading our cards. Yeah, because if, so, well, if we take too long reading a card or figuring out what we're doing, it's not because we're bad, it's because we don't know what the, these decks do. We really don't know what we're Mine we is brand new. Yeah. Judge slow math um, voice. I'll activate the Tore to vanish her, draw a card, then discard a witchcraft a card. Hallelujah. I discard Vere. Alright, and I'll set one card face down and. I'll pass. I am sad. <laughs> it's, I draw. It's a dream mirror. Why wouldn't you be it's sad? It's not dream mirror. Okay. This. It's dragon maid. <laughs> yep. Nope. Nope. Math mm, mech. Yeah. Okay. And it. Mm, uh, uh, hey, dream maid. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I felt like running it. By the way, I love the Spanish version of this because it's simply Hola Tornado. <laughs> it just sounds so stupid and so funny. <laughs> I sign at mining. Cost? Sign Gosh. at mining. <laughs> <laughs> Judge! <laughs> FYI, Judge. we're not playing any meta, any mostly meta cards like Ash Blossom and stuff like that. We do have stuff to min max our decks, but other than that, we are not playing hand traps of any sort. So we're trying to get out of hand traps. Like, very, very few exceptions apart from like things that aren't like super abrasive to the game. I think Typhoon is one of those that isn't super abrasive. And I'm also really running, crazy, I'm also running the in archetype hand trap for Witchcrafter because I had three and I liked them. Yeah, in archetype does not count. Just because imagine playing Bujin without Bujin Crank. <laughs> just don't play it's the like game. Boneless Bujin. Just don't play the game. This is so bad. Because it's a brand new deck that has weird stuff. No, my hand was very bad. <laughs> Dude, I believe in you. I remember when we came up with that Amaraj combo all ourselves. Our? <laughs> I did that. I was there for you. Yeah, you were there. Chain Madame Vere. Discard and negate its effect. Okay. Nice. Busted. My big booty smug lily. Saying that back door. Oh. Sticking a booty. I have no idea what that does. <laughs> I don't care to read it. I think it will add, does it summon or does it add to your hand? Add to hand. Cool. That's 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 a card. Yeah. Doesn't really help me, but dude, you got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I have a nagler. I had a very terrible hand. <laughs> Mine wasn't incredible, but I, it was playable. <laughs> Mine, I don't know if I could say mine was. So, Bouncer 
word since he's banished, I can swatch with someone from my hand. Interesting. So, nap it up. Okay. For all those who still don't know what he's playing, he's playing Math Boys. Math Mac. My turn. He's still doing stuff. Do stuff. <laughs> That's not really. <laughs> oh, I hate my. I equip it. What does that even do? Not. It's pretty cool. Okay. Cool. Remember battle with the player. And the She's got math boy from deck to grave. And she boosts herself by a thousand when I reveal a spell. I can reveal any number of spells. Oh, my phone's over there buzzing. Yeah. Yes. So for math boy, is the equip spell. Uh, when battle is declared, you send a math boy from deck to grave. Uh, gains the attack of the math boy that is sent. And then math boys do stuff when they get sent to grave. Quickspell overall is pretty solid. Yeah. It has an effect when it goes to grave, too. It has a math boy card from graveyard to hand. It's pretty, pretty solid. I'm gonna Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna attack. Okay. Billy invade. Proceeds to attack and then enter battle. I still have less attack. <laughs> Okay, so you lose 300. But, actually, we... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I lose 300. Unless you feel like you know, revealing spells. I really don't. <laughs> so. Main phase two. Wait, Monster Reborn. Yeah. So I'm gonna math boy, give it a thousand attack. Yeah. Close down the chat. Let's do it. Uh, uh, sink. Six spells. No monsters. Very solid. I'll set one card face do? down. Uh, when he destroys opponent's monster, I'm gonna destroy target up to two cards. Your opponent controls, destroy them. Uh, this card is destroyed by battle or card attack, and it's only possession. Add one that like spell chat from your deck to your hand. Cool. Yeah. All right, so I'll go ahead and summon Vittori. Yep. And I'll proceed to my end phase. I'll then scroll back to hand by its own ability. Pass. Let's go to bed. Oh wait, did I forget? Is it during yours or mine? Oh, during my next standby phase. Okay, so, yeah, so draw, and then standby comes back. Oh, uh, well Set one. Hmm. 
the tennis game playing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Draw. Uh, I'll activate the Tori's ability. Tribute. Discard. Witchcrafters have all the little witchcrafters tribute themselves and a uh, spell from hand of grave and they have an effect. This one searches. They, they all summons. summon. Alright. We'll they all summon and then they have their own individual abilities which can vary from decent to eh. Alright. So little ones summon the big ones. Big ones have decent effects. Yeah. And all the spells go to hand at the end phase if they do not activate the first effect. Yes. So... I'll activate Masterpiece, Target Scrolls in my graveyard, add a copy of it. They want to cry. If I can. Oh, I took it out. Shit. <laughs> I can't. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that. It happens when you don't play a deck. Don't know what anything is. Yeah. Uh, battle phase. No, oh, my bad. I'm not sure to do a word. Swing. Oh, oh no. My bad. I'm not sure to do a word. Nine, 700. And 700. I'll go into my end phase, add scroll back to hand. I draw. prevents targeting. You can only target her with card effects. Proceed to damage step. Yup. Vere. Yup. Boost her by a thousand. Yup. So, you lose 900. I'll add one spell tray up. Banish Pittori to draw a card. Then discard witchcraft a card. I'll banish Pottery to, uh, oh, what does she do again? Oh. <laughs> 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 well, we know she has an effect. That's yes, we know. I can target a witchcrafter in my graveyard, add it to your hand. Add it to my hand. So do you want to do that? Oh, I, I can't actually do that. I have to have no cards in hand. I'm like, I have to choose the wrong card. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry <laughs> Okay, this is what I was going to do. I summon Shmieta. What does she do? Same thing all the others do. Ah, okay. Yeah, her, her favorite effect, she banishes herself to, to Foolish Barrel of Witchcraft a card. Solid, solid. So, I'll banish her. I'll tribute her first, uh, discarding a scroll. 
That's cool. Then the bitch of the deck. Then in the graveyard like four times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a card I've been drawing. Go ahead and send creation. But her grave effect was to banish him. Yeah, and then I vanish. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. skipping ahead. No yeah, I'm skipping ahead. ahead. I'm, yeah, just, okay. I'm doing the Foolish Braille effect because I came across it first. All right, okay, okay, okay. So not that. Understandable. Sorry, doing it backwards. <laughs> Have it from speeding things up. Clarification here, guys. Yes. Sorry, trying to do things in a neater way, but I'm trying to figure out how this deck works to, again. All right, and I shall go into my end phase. Well, actually, I should probably I'll go into battle phase and just start. Okay, summon your things. Yes. So that trap card is really solid for the deck. Target as many, or I think. Uh, up to three mathematic Up to three mathematic the boys. With different names, then activate one of these effects. Special summon them. If their effects are negated, then immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one mathematic synchro monster using only those monsters, and then shuffle the materials into the deck and set some graveyard. Or do the same thing, but exceed summon. So it's, a, it's basically an urgent synchro and an urgent exceeds built into the archetype. Yeah, it's pretty solid. <laughs> Boom. Double math, boys. And then immediately synchro. Sound. Exceed! <laughs> yes! Yes, that's what we're doing. We are exceeding. <laughs> okay. Big boy. Uh, big boy, while he's in the extra monster zone, is unaffected by other card effects except math boy cards. Yeah. So, I'll go ahead and activate Masterpiece. Targeting creation. Because I know I have three creation. Because that's the searcher. Tag creation. Oh. Nice. Still in battle. Heine, swing. Any response? No. Damage step? No. Vere? To. 4400. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it was the same thing as a little guy. Just rip a battle with card effects. I'll just get one Mathemic card instead. Just Any card. Mathemic card from deck to hand. Bonta Gamer is currently at 47 health. 4,700 life points. I say 47, right? Not like me. Yeah, but it's he not digits. health. Would you say 47, 5, or is that 47? He said 47, 7 health. Is it health? Yeah, 47. Big door is sitting at a whopping 8,000. Let's get that. One thing about these, they just create a wall. I had only spells. Oh. Literally. Well, it's better than me using a freaking effect. Literally, to... my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. The hand is nuts in every other deck. <laughs> I started off with two of these, one of her, and one and one scroll. I would have got. One monster. And a, one. and a masterpiece. One monster, I would have been fine. You would have been fine. Right. Something big boy with a quick spell. Swing directly with Heine for 24. Yep. Oh. Going down from 47 to 23 LP. Yeah. And FYI, I can only do her effect while battling an opponent's monster, so I couldn't have attacked him directly and then boosted her. So just in case anyone was wondering. And that will be it for me. And during the end phase, creation and scroll both add back to my hand. So that's four spells, 4,000. That helps no fuddy. Except me. That's a skill. Okay. I had four spells and a hand trap. All right. That was the <laughs> first <laughs> match of the tournament going to uh, Witchcrafters.
Uh, any any last words before death? Single eliminations, by the way, guys. It's a little late, but it's fine. This is a really weird idea, and it's making us all really annoyed and trying to do it with these decks that we haven't touched. I think it's fun <laughs> because we're playing decks we literally haven't touched in years. Yeah. I'm playing no. a deck that I touched on release. You don't count. <laughs> He's playing math points. He just came out. All right, guys. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>